Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My writings in the 90s included my thesis. I've already spoken about Ibn Taymiyyah's essay on the jinn, uh, his treatise, which I translated and commentated on. The thesis itself, which was very comprehensive, the first of its kind, it dealt with all of the issues concerning the jinn, the human soul, the other avenues by which people could become possessed. It involved research, traveling to different parts of the world, which I mentioned earlier, and the experience of exorcists from different parts of the Muslim world was included in the thesis itself. And alhamdulillah, you know, after I graduated in 1993, I decided to publish the work. And I had already moved to the UAE where I had become the head of Darul Fatah printing press, English department. And from there, I began publishing a number of works. Many of them, if not most of them, were later republished by the International Islamic Publishing House. So among them was my thesis itself. And this is the first edition, which was published in the UAE. Uh, this is a soft cover, uh, which it has. But the actual book itself is a hardcover book. This is what it looks like, the Exodus tra tradition in Islam, printed completely in the UAE from Darul Fatah Press. This work covered the practice of exorcism in different parts of the Muslim world, identifying what was acceptable, what was not acceptable, because you have, till today, many people who are engaged in different forms of exorcism. So it identifies what was the prophetic way, clearly, bringing all the hadith, evidences, arguments, etc. And, of course, then providing for people who wanted to follow the Quran and the Sunnah, you know, a clear direction in terms of how they should approach uh, dealing with people who have been possessed by the jinn. Then it also looked at the practices found in different parts of the Muslim world, identified that which was not acceptable, which had no basis in Islamic tradition, in Islamic authentic uh, narrations from the Sahaba or from the Prophet Muhammad himself, and assessed um, exorcism in Christianity, compared it to what's going on in Islam, looked briefly at exorcism in other religions, like Hinduism, etc., and brought the readers to a conclusion, you know, as to where possession comes from, because we looked at, in the thesis, the world of the angels, the world of human souls, and the world of the jinn, as being the three possible sources from which possession could take place. And we looked into the details about the jinn, understanding where, how they were created, where they were created from, um, their characteristics, their abilities, and their inabilities, as well as their death, that they die like human, as human beings die. But they have the ability to choose between good and evil, just as human beings did. So this is my thesis. I did it to be able to put in the circles of academia an authoritative work on the jinn and exorcism and something which would remove the garbled material which had been gathered by Orientalists by going to different parts of the Muslim world and gathering up their folklore, their fairy tales and all these different confused beliefs and practices, which is then presented as Islamic view and belief and practice. So 
the book remains a means of clarifying for researchers who want to get to the bottom of the reality of the jinn from Islamic perspective. It provides that solid base of information based on authentically narrated uh, guidance from the Prophet وسلم, and from his companions in the early generations. So I wanted it to be something that whenever researchers are searching, they're seeking knowledge about the jinn, etc., it would come up in their search and they would be able to get uh, clear presentations, you know, as opposed to the garbled material which Orientalists had uh, compiled and, and put into the textbooks in their various universities around the world. Barakallahu fikum, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.